Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In the SEC, there is one certainty. You never get a rest. You never get a chance to catch your breath. If you don't believe it, just try taking your C game or something to a place like Lexington or Nashville or Starkville. You know what will happen? You'll walk out with a loss. You have to bring your best in every single game in the SEC. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Georgia Tech is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He's to the 20. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. Second and five. Ball on the 29. four-yard line. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. Merriman to punt. He drops it. And he just got drilled. Turkey broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They make the stop right around the 46-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. And he is drilled at the 38. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. From the 38 yard line, first down. Yeah, 
gains his way to the 19-yard line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's a third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Pitches back. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From the 18-yard line, second down. And he's stopped behind the line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. is on the field. They'll try for three points. Georgia Tech could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time for an update from the Sun Belt Conference. And for UAB, they've dropped two straight. And for Miles, he hauled in more than 100 yards worth of passing. South Alabama grabs the victory by a field goal. Reese. 3-0 here. Georgia Georgia Tech Brown gets set ball. to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. Georgia Tech's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for him so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. The offense was pretty successful in that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice and first hit. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down the 39-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Set. Gray 95. Gray 95. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at the 23. from the 23-yard line. First down. Ready! Green heart! Inside the 10, and down he goes around the nine-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's gonna get his hands on it and make a catch. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike, I got one. I got one. I got one. 
A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, the Yellow Jackets with a three-point lead. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown, Hurricanes! Down. Once you get inside the 10 yard line, this halfback is automatic. And he converts the extra point. It was an eight play, 67 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Good outside run there. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. made around the 28 yard line you know a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense and on that tackle he showed you why that's the case Around the 35-yard line. That's a team seven in the play. First down. 35-yard line. First down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Game seven in the play. That'll bring up second and three. back and he's got space he's at the 40 he's tackled at about the 33 yard line First we've got a first and 10 ball on the 33 yard line Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down around the 24-yard line. That brings up second and one. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's taken down at about the nine-yard line. First and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Nice run there. Mason comes away with about four there on the option play. That brings him second and goal. From the five-yard line, second down. Touchdown, 
Touchdown, Tech. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. All right, let's check in on some games with major PCS. And the Razorbacks go up top and strike first with a touchdown. The Razorbacks on top, 7-0. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. Georgia Tech gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And they make the stop at the 42. First and ten. Ball on the 42. On the ball, on the ball. Set. Green 88. Green 88. <laughs> Caught over the middle. And he's tackled at the 29. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. He makes the PAT with a three-play, 68-yard drive. And the result, seven points. And Brad, you're gonna move the ball at will when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are gonna lead you to touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Meeks fields at the goal line. Caps' his stats right now are pretty impressive, but the team has not been impressive. They're struggling despite the fact that he's playing well here in the first half. Brad, I think he's played well enough for this team to be playing much better as a group. Unfortunately, the rest of his teammates aren't seeming to follow his lead, and I think that's going to be the real challenge for him as they go into the second half, is being able to get this team to be able to rise up their play to where he's playing, and then they got a shot to be able to come back and win this game. Six yards that time on the pass play. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's got it with room to run, and he shoved out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. First down. Scrambling around. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's scrambling. He takes off. Decides to slide. That makes it first and ten. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. That's good for the 
by second and inches. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes around the 20 yard line. He's on the run. The quarterback has some room. Tackle made around the 15 yard line. And he throws it away. This is the ninth play of this drive. Lateral's back. Makes it to the 12-yard line. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. He scrambles. He dives and he'll be marked down. A tight first half of football and we head to the break. 14-10, Miami. Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 36. That makes it second and eight. And they got him for a loss. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice, short tackle on the ball carrier. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 35. He wants it all going long. He goes up and gets it. Tackle at the 24. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. It's the PAT. A five-play, 80-yard drive. And they add six. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Parker fields it at the 7. He's out of bounds right around the 24-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. 
and they'll get him in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it second and ten. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and six. He gets to about the 41-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 48. like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds from the 48 yard line it's second down pulls down the catch and he's got room here brought down in the open field Five-yard line. Second down. <laughs> Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 24-yard line. First down. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he throws it away. This is the 11th play of this drive. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 10-yard line. Check, check. Regular, regular. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Scrambling around. Slides down. Ashley gets about four yards on the play. This is the 14th play of this drive. something upstairs it led to a touchdown you can thank the play calling there very impressive and the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass and he 
tacks on the extra point. Carter has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Got some open field. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Miami's up by four. To the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Big opening. And he has it on the corner at the 30. He finally goes down at the 16. First down. First and ten. Let's see if they can build off that great run. He might have a chance. Nice run there. Anderson comes away with five yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. He's in! Touchdown! And they take the lead. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's take a look at scores around the country. Let's take yet another peek at this game. Johnson's a wide receiver's coach's dream with those Velcro hands of his. He scored a touchdown. The Razorbacks on top, 24-3, nearing the midway point. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Brown is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down the 37-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense can continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quick throw, and he's tackled at about the 45. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Let's go! 319! 319! He's at the 40, and they make the stop at the 31 yard line. We 
They've got a first and ten. Ball on the 31. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. yard line first down less than three minutes in the game on the delay and that sets them up with a first and goal a very impressive open field tackle. That brings him second and goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the five yard line. Yeah, let's get sack lunch. Watch number 12. Watch number 12. Set. Green and hot. Brought down at the four. This is the eighth play of this drive. Check three, check three, check three. Here we go. Right, right. Touchdown, and that gives them the lead. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long.
He makes the PAT. Turn it from the one. And he's tackled at the 26. Georgia Tech's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Now he's scrambling. Tackle around the 40-yard line. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 48. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First down. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. There's a strike complete, and down he goes. Right around the 50. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Got a man, but he's tackled back by the line of scrimmage. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. Under a minute left in the game. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. And they finally make the stop at the five-yard line. That always stings the defense to give up a big running play like that. They don't want to give up big chunks of yards on the ground. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. The Yellow Jackets using their third and last timeout.
That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.